Alright. Alright. And so... This brings us to our last level. If I'm not mistaken, we should be fully completed on every single level, minus the hub world, and the last one. Alright, DK Isles. Let's go backwards, right? That one we need to finish, though. We knew that. Jungle Japes, done. Angry Aztecs, done. Frantic Factory, done. Gloomy Galleon, done. Fungi Forest, done. Crystal Caves, done. Which means the only level we have left, I think, is uh, Creepy Caverns. Which should be all the way at the top up here. I th think a thunk. That is a gigantic cannon. Holy shit, I never realized how big that was. I think so? I think this is right. It just, I don't know, feels very not, but I guess that's, maybe it is. It took you to Grandma's Green Bath, too true. This guy's about to get fucking murdered. So who's trying to kill him? What the hell is going on, dude? That's just a big dog. She don't bite. She don't bite. That's come on. That's princess. Creepy castle. Oh shit. I f I heavily fuck with the design of this. Holy. I missed the first jump. That's assuredly a good sign to come. <sighs> yeah, so as I was start as I started the stream with this before we got into the game, I was talking about how I have been really interested and invested in this Kendrick Lamar and Drake this, and by the time this video comes out, I don't know how long it'll be, and, and this will likely all be over. But this is back in May, right? I'm recording. I'm. This is being streamed May 5th. Um. So, like, Kendrick Lamar just dropped, like, his three songs. Drake, literally, 40 minutes ago or something, just dropped his uh, another song. It's fun and great. But one of my favorite things is Kendrick Lamar just dissing the shit out of Drake, right? But it's not like schoolyard disses. It's like, you're a fucking pedophile. Um, you're, you're, you're weird. You're a terrible father. He writes a song directly to Drake's mom. <laughs> like, you fucked your kid up, dude. Like, you're a bad mother. I'm sorry you raised a terrible fucking person. And then in one of his songs, he's like, I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way you walk. I hate the way you talk. I hate the way you dress. And I'm like, he's me! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the biggest hater around. That's so funny. And it's, it's just, it's such, it's such great energy. It truly is. Now, I'm obviously saying this now. I do hope what Kendrick Lamar is saying is true, because I agree with Kisser here. Kendrick's fucking weird. Not Kendrick. Drake's fucking weird. And you know what? I did listen to Drake's newest uh, song as a, like, as a, no, -uh. he literally was like, I'm a pedophile. Nah, I'm too rich to be a pedophile. What? <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Brother has not heard of Jeffrey Epstein. Brother, I swear to God. And he's like, you know what, Kendrick? You just like this because you got molested as a kid. And it's like, what? <laughs> that's, that's your comeback? That's your... Um, I didn't do all these terrible things. <laughs> what? I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on, dude? Drake is in shambles. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm all about it. And don't get me wrong. I'm I'm just I'm just the white boy, right? I I got nothing, okay? <laughs> I just really like the fucking socks. <laughs> I didn't know they were dissing each other, and I didn't even know. Yeah, it just it's been happening like this week. Wow, rich people fighting is weird. Well, like uh, it's not just like it's not like fucking Elon Musk and M I guess Mark Zuckerberg. I mean, they they've quote unquote had things to say about each other. But when they fight, it's stupid little shit. This is like two rappers that like came up from somewhere and like there's a story. There's a reason. It's a little bit more than that. But I do think it's fucking hilarious. Hmm, I guess I just never understood the whole distract stuff. Why spend time and energy just to insult someone in a whole ass song? Um, well, I suppose there's a good reason for that. When it's like, first off, when you're like somebody who's like, you just don't fuck with them. And I guess in terms of like, you think they're fake, you think they're lying, you, you don't think what they're doing is good. It makes sense where you're like, it's like when I go, that's like when I come on stream and I talk about things that annoy me. The difference is it's a multiple, like I'm talking it, I'm not rapping it. And they're expressing it through the art form, you know, just to tell yourself, no, I'm not going to write anything negative in my art form. It's kind of like separating a part of the emotion that you have like when you draw or when you paint or when you make stuff a lot of your own emotions go into that it dictates what the color of the canvas is what the subject is how the focus is it 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 makes a lot of sense um, when you look at it from an artistic view and that's not just me being like i love the fact that kendrick lamar hates the shit out of drake even though i do think it's hilarious i it's i mean it's a part of the art form also i'd like to know how am i not hitting this you're telling me not one of those hit him you're telling me not a single one of them hit the fucking guy dude hit him hit him Donkey Kong's gonna go fucking bananas mode if you keep this up. You're telling me you're not hitting him? What are you has to hit? Dude, this is insane. My aim is deadly. This is actually making me mad. What? Kill him, Donkey Kong! It's to use your craft to show your skills are better than the other person while also bring them down to further show the gap between your skill. Yeah, it's like when Tra Crash talks about... talks shit about his coworkers that everybody loves. I mean, I don't talk shit about my coworkers. I, I would never do such a thing. You guys think I'm all mean and brash. There's definitely something weird going on with that, and we'll have to... I will have to troubleshoot it because I don't know why that's not working. Because it's 100% you shoot it and you get something. I don't know what the problem is. But, I mean, whatever. It is what it is, what it is, what it is. Yeah, I don't know what's happening there. I don't know. But we got a whole level to go through. Maybe we'll figure it out. This guy's a real b boner. Guys, the jokes just don't stop in this Crash Channel. <laughs> I was, uh, I was looking at, uh, my analytics today, and my analytics, in, uh, my analytics for my normal YouTube channel, I expect there to be some, you know, subbery and whatever, like, I, I know what's going on there, but I don't really take a look at my, um, my analytics for the VODs channel, which is the channel that I use to watch YouTube normally on, so I don't even really think about it. I kind of just just rock with it and I look today and like we got like fucking five new subs to like the VODs channel the VOD channel in one day which mind you the VOD channel has 10% the, the the sub count my actual channel has which is like weird <laughs> I was not expecting five people to be like yeah I think this Crash guy's pretty cool. Let me uh, let me check his vods out. All in one day. 
Like, don't get me wrong, I'm excited. I like, I, I like, but like, I don't know. I'm just sort of surprised. There's something down there. Yeah, YouTube's weird, man. Sometimes, sometimes I'd be just chilling out and things just be happening, and I'm like, uh, hello, what's happening? Like, what? What's going on here? Like, brother, I'm just living. I don't know, sometimes YouTube is a big surprise. They are feeding my boy, man. They're, this is, they're just creating a line. I have to imagine the King K rules fucking sex dungeon or something, because this is... This shit is direct. Excuse me. That fucking hurt. And I, honestly, I'm, I'm quite disappointed. Well, Majora's Mask was my favorite non-horror game with horror elements. Brother has yet to play Dead Space. Game that is obviously horror. <laughs> Wait till this guy fucking plays Scary Game 3. <laughs> That's so stupid. Yo, dog, give me a gun that I can shoot giant man. Oh, did it say shoot farther? Oh my god, there literally is an update. It's gonna be a hated take, but all Zelda games are dog shit until Breath of the Wild. Brother just never got sloppy toppy to the side of Link. I'm sorry. We gotta change that. We gotta get our best. Who gives the best head here? We gotta get. We gotta get our men on that. <laughs> we gotta get our best men on this. Brother obviously has not seen <laughs> Twink Link. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we gotta get this man some <laughs> some Legend of Zelda to your head now. <laughs> Ocarina <of> time. <laughs> Twilight Princess. <laughs> Zelda two. No, 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 not that one. <laughs> too true. <laughs> too true, brother. Too true. All right, let's go back to that other area. Legend of Zelda Throat Goat of Destiny. Brother, it's called the Wind Waker. What are you talking about? What kind of... Where do you think the wind's coming from? My throat! <laughs> On your dick and balls! <laughs> Call that game the Wind Quaker after I'm done with you. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> um. Wait until I pull out the mega hammer. <laughs> Dong! <laughs> Yow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Z target your balls. hitting now so the upgrade worked good good job funky kong now really my aim just is bad one of these will hit one of these will, it did hit wow hope you see this when you're editing realize how crazy you sound for your own sake buddy i do that every day <laughs> you don't think i don't you don't think i don't sit around after streaming i'm like what the fuck did i say that <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. All right, so I am really excited. I'm really excited. Um, I, if you guys don't know, me and Katie have been on our Fast and Furious grind. So a few days ago, I uh, say about five days ago, me and Katie watched the first Fast and the Furious. And that was because I, a very long time ago, said, Katie, we should really watch Fast and Furious. They're goofy, and I think they'd be a good, fun time to watch. But they're car movies. They're not like something we were dying to watch. Because I'm not, I'm not a car guy. It's just simply as it is. I'm a video editing guy. You can only be like three types of guy. I'm that guy. So we watched the first Fast and the Furious and we enjoyed it. Um, it's definitely a little bit more boring than you would expect, but I still had a good time with it. I think it was a fine movie um, and definitely was a good way to start the uh, the series. So then there was... Oh, shit. Well, there was that. So two days ago, me and Katie decided to sit down and watch the second movie, Fast, Too Fast, Too Furious. So if you know anything about Fast and Furious 1, which I don't expect very many of you to, Fast and Furious 1 has Dom Toretto, who is Vin Diesel, has Brian O'Connor, but he has a different name in the movie for most of it, uh, played by Paul Walker, who's now dead, and a bunch of other people in it, but kind of low-list, no-name actors at that time in 2001. Too Fast, Too Furious basically has none of the same cast, minus just Brian O'Connor, who is Paul Walker, and that is it. But it's funny because that game, that, that game, that movie actually sets up all a bunch of plot-wise things for future movies. The movie after that is Tokyo Drift. Now, we, me and Katie watched the Too Fast, Too Furious, and we really enjoyed it. I, I just, I had a really good time with it. Um, I think Katie did too. And we're just good characters. It was just goofy all around. I watched the entire movie. I did not fall asleep, Kissa. I'll have you know. That's how you know it's an excellent movie. So there's that. This third movie is weird. So this is set in Tokyo. The other two movies, one was set in Los Angeles, and the other one was, was set in Miami. Fast 3, Tokyo Drift, happens in Japan. And let me just... I just gotta show you the character, the main character of Fast and the Furious 3. I want you to know that this character was supposed to look like he's in high school. Um... And I, I just got to get your guys' opinion on if he looks like he's in high school. Let's just, let me get a really good picture. Mm, I got to give him like the best picture possible. All right, I think that'll do. I think that'll do. So does this guy look like he's in... His, I don't know, 17, 18s. You know, like, doesn't he look like he's going to algebra? Like, come on. Right? That is a father. That is supposed to be like a 16 or 17 year old kid. And we watch him learn how to drift. And movie one and two, like, we see Vin Diesel and O'Connor maybe fuck up once or twice. But for the most part, they're just really good at driving. Um, and it's funny, in, 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 in Fast and Furious 1, we see Vin Diesel crash, he, he takes damage and whatnot, um, and it's very interesting. So at the end of Tokyo Drift, Vin Diesel shows up, because there's a certain character in Fast and Furious 3, who I'm gonna spoil, his name is Han. Fast and Furious 3, is a movie that came out in 2016, not 2000, 2006, it takes place in, I believe, 2015 because there was this character named Han who dies in Fast and Furious 3, but shows up in the next four movies. 
<laughs> because everyone liked them him so much. So the whole the rest of the series retconned three to be f a further story. Either way. So this kid and Dom race, and that's the end of the movie. Han is dead. Whatever. Fast and the Furious 4, we see Han in a um flashback, if you will. And that he's done, like that's supposed to be it. Comes back in the next movie, whatever. Fast Furious 4. Dom Toretto's wife dies. Her name is Letty. She is an important character in the first movie. Fast and Furious 4, which is just called Fast and the Furious, but I'm, I'm gonna call it Fast 4, is basically a direct sequel to Fast 1. That way, there's just no problems, right? Fast 1 and 4 are like directly tied. 2 and 3 are also tied, but if you watched Fast 1 and then Fast 4, you'd be like, okay, whatever. Fast 4... Dom Toretto and Brian O'Connor, who like had a falling out at the beginning, at the end of the first movie, have to come together to find Letty's killer. Dom Toretto's wife, dead. We gotta find out who did it. When I tell you Dom Toretto threatens a guy by almost dropping an engine on his head and catches it with one hand, I mean, he's gaining superpowers by the by the second the movie the fourth movie starts off with Dom Toretto's gang heisting a like six canister long oil tanker with with winches and fucking <laughs> dry ice and it ends with him driving under an exploding oil tanker it's fantastic Either way, Letty is dead. They end up finding who did it. Well and Brian O'Connor and Dom are now best friends. They're husbands now. We love them together. That's the end of that movie. Movie five. Four and five we watched yesterday. Fast five. It's only called Fast Five. Five. The Rock shows up. The Rock shows up. Let me let me just pull up The Rock. So this is a 2011 film. This is a 2011 film. And so now, a poorly rendered, low frame image of The Rock shows up, with a goatee, and he has a new accent. He is it's weird. Either way, he's a DEA agent. Um, who is tipped off about Dom and Brian basically moving to Rio. And he has an accent. He is He's actively losing the accent. And throughout the entire movie, The Rock has a gigantic, like, just gigantic sweat marks all over his face. He's the only person in the movie that's sweating. Dom Toretto doesn't take any damage anymore unless Rock hits him because this is the point of the movie where the Rock and Dwayne have contracts where they have to hit each other the equal amount of times. Neither of them are allowed to lose fights, but they fight each other in the movies, so it ends in a draw. Whatever. Either way, before we get there, Dom Toretto and Brian O'Connor are basically setting up for a heist to steal $100 million from some corrupt businessman who basically threaten Dom's family. He doesn't really have that many. So, they bring back Han, who is dead. They bring back two characters from Fast 2. And there's a bunch of other things with it. Like, there's a character named Tej, who's just the actor Ludacris, actor, the rapper Ludacris, who in 2 owns a garage and, like, runs races and whatnot. In Fast and Furious 5, he is now some supreme saf saf safe hacker buster guy. And he's like, I had a life before you knew me, O'Connor. And when he gets his money, he's like, I'm going to start a garage. Brother, you had one. I don't understand. Whatever. 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 So we gain all that. We gain all, everyone here. Gal Gadot's in the movie. We got The Rock in the movie. We got Ludacris in the movie. We got Vin Diesel in the movie. Family. And then, and then they do the heist. But before that, The Rock finds him. 
captures them. And then the fucking corrupt villain shoots a rocket launcher at Dwayne the Rock Johnson and his entire team of DEA agent kills them all, kills them all, but the Rock. And the Rock, well, uh, there's another person as well, but she's not important to this lore dump, but she's there as well. The Rock is like, all right, let's get him. So he joins the team that's stealing $100 million. And at this point, we have to remember, they're stealing a gigantic safe with $100 million. You know how they like tested this out and like figured out how the hell they were gonna steal the safe and what's the best way to crack it? They bought the exact same safe on Amazon, dude. The exact same one. <laughs> and they were like, all right, how do we bust into this safe? We bust into this safe, we can bust in the safe that's in the, be in the it's in a police station, whatever. It's in a police station. So they bought the exact same safe and it's empty. So. So, let's reel it back, okay? The heist is about to go down. Everyone's in formation. Someone goes in. Clink, 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 clink. Hooks up the winches to the safe. What do you think, what do you think, what do you think the winch, what do you think the safe is connected to? We're going to watch a part of this movie really quickly i just need you guys to see this okay look at this look at this hold on you guys can't it's not on the screen they're driving two dodge chargers out with the safe <laughs> i don't know how to explain this <laughs> how do i express this now you might be at this point you know, why are the police after them? Like, whatever. So all of the police are corrupt. Every single police officer is corrupt. All of them. Are the citizens corrupt too? It's just... It's... What? <laughs> they just fucking destroyed a whole bank with people in it. And when I tell you, they don't get... They get... There's no problems. They just get out of it scot-free. They just killed, like, dude, a hundred people. It's crazy. It's crazy. With that one move, they don't pay for it. <laughs> Dom Toretto. Dom Toretto. We're on the bridge. He's like, Brian, get out of here. I'm going to show him what's what. Brian unwinches. So now one Dodge Charger is pulling this vault. This 10-ton vault. Check this shit out, dude. Check this shit out. <laughs> One Dodge Charge is all you need. I love it. He turned the NAS on. He can now pull infinite amount of weight. He wheelies the car. Right? He wheelies the car, says, let's do this shit. And is now driving at the cops. Watch this, man. <laughs> that guy's dead. <laughs> that guy's dead. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> bye bye. Corruption. 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 Bye bye. Don't worry, fucking passed away. Kachunk. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so like this is Brian O'Connor comes back. I would never leave you, family. Yada 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 yada. Whatever, whatever, right? You should really save my ass back there. The Rock comes out in his armored vehicle, his GTA armored vehicle. The bad guy's on the ground. Watch this. He's a DEA agent. He's a part of the United States government who is a cop. Watch what he does to this guy. <laughs> Police brutality, dude. He just fucking murdered that guy in cold blood. He just fucking kills this guy. <laughs> Fuck, he's fucking dead. <laughs> he just fucking murders him. Oh my god. <laughs> 
And they're like, they're talking it out. They're like, you saved the day. You got 24 hours and I'm coming back for your ass, right? 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 But the money stays with me, the 100 million. And they're like, fine. You know what? That's cool. That's cool. So let's, The Rock's got to check out what's in the safe, man. Um, weird. Where the fuck is the money that was in this thing? Remember when I said there was a 10 second window that they didn't really talk about at all? I, I, they, I can't believe I'm saying this. They had a plan. They put it in a fucking... <laughs> they put in a garbage sinker and the one they bought on Amazon, the perfect replica, that's the one that used to kill many more people. Also, the cops directly behind them didn't see it. Didn't see it at all. And The Rock's like, they got us. They got us. The <laughs> pranksters, they fucking got us, dude. That is crazy. <laughs> we got a bunch of pranksters that were chasing here. <laughs> These little goobers, they got us. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> they totally killed all those innocent people and got away with it. Yes. <laughs> yes. And The Rock. And we have to remember, he's a United States agent of the DEA. And he just fucking helped. He helped these fucking bank robbers kill and steal a hundred million dollars. And then he fucking killed someone in cold blood. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. I love it. I fucking love it, dude. <laughs> All right, they got me. <laughs> when you beat the cold-blooded murderer allegations, dude. <laughs> That's the lady I was talking about. <laughs> Look at the destruction, man. You're not going to just be like, yeah, they got away with it, too. <laughs> like, do, we have to do we have to go back? Do you remember when you did this to this guy? <laughs> dude, I'm like so in it. I'm so in it, dude. And the main, okay, the main character, I'm so, this is the Fast and Furious episode. The fucking the first movie, the protagonist is Brian O'Connor. He is the he is the main protagonist for the most part throughout the series. He fucking Paul Walker dies in real life, I think during the filming of Seven. So they have a send off for Paul Walker. They don't kill Paul Walker in the movies. No, 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 no. Paul Walker drives away. He does his own thing. And then they keep referencing Brian O'Connor, the dead Paul Walker, in every other movie. And he's like, he's just doing all right. Oh, he's late for dinner. What? <laughs> These are just things that I've heard. I haven't even seen them for myself. I have to know. And they are thinking about getting, they're thinking about getting his brother. I don't know his, Paul Walker's brother. To play Brian O'Connor again. So they're going to bring a dead man back to life. This shit is crazy. <laughs> he just, he just likes flipping. I can't. <laughs> He's really proud of himself. Look at him. <laughs> He's, he's just really happy with himself. <laughs> All right, Chunky. Oh, 
fucking destroyed the table. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 